Hello everyone, I'm Helen and a guest at Split Cost Tempers. Today we're going to make this wood burning sign. I'm using gracefully designed digital stem on my projects. You need an 8.5 inch by 11 inch freezer paper, wooden spoon, painter tape, and wood burning tool. You need to print the image on the glossy part of the freezer paper. If needed, flip your image before printing. And then add the image on the wood and you can use the painter tape to secure your paper on the wood. Use the flat part of the wooden spoon to transfer your image on the wood surface. Press firmly and move around. To make sure you have transferred the image, you can lift up the part of the paper, but do not take it off the wood. Once you are sure that all the image has transferred, you can remove the paper off and you are ready for the wood burning process. I preheat my wood burning tool while transferring the image so it will be warm enough to trace the image on the wood. I twist the wood around to get the right angle. I repeat the same steps for the flower petals. And to finish the flower, I added some dots in the middle of it. And now it's ready for the painting process. I used multi-surface acrylic paints and a couple round brushes. I added the paint on the craft mat, pick it up with the brush to start the paint. I started the leaf first, I also twist the wood around. After the leaf dry, I painted the flower with the light pink acrylic paint. When I got the paint on the line, I used baby wipes to clean it off when the paint still wet. Next, I mix the light and the dark pink acrylic paint for the shadow color. I paint it in the area of the flower where it needed some shadow. And as you can see, I cannot stay in the line when I'm painting, so some of the lines got some paints on them. So I used the wood burning tool to trace the painted lines. Once in a while, I clean my wood burning tools on a heat resistant mat. This step is also giving the flower some finishing touch. And it's done! I hope you all enjoyed this tutorial and give it a try. Thank you so much for watching and see you all next time. Bye bye!